Rescue, Data and Repair, my name is Dr. Ben. Hello and welcome to a new video and today we got a nice tool here and we do the first review in the world for this tool. It's the JCID V1S Pro. So, and a lot of people already talked about that tool before because um, JC told before it will have functions which will be a revolution for the repair industry. So um, I have some news about that, but first I want to show you the device and then we just have a look what this device can do. So what we have here on top is a um, BGA adapter for BGA uh, 110. Looks like this. And you can connect this to the V1S. Before, I just want to show you the device, which was um, which, which was a long time JC's standalone programmer. It was the Pro 1000S. It looks a little bit old. Yeah, it, it has been some years ago. So it's uh, from from the main function here, we just um, used it as a NAND programmer. We had modules on it. We could do things like face ID repairs with that tool too. So just insert an adapter for face ID, unbind, like ever. Um, something which worked, the touch was pretty like mm, not working like it should work, but it worked. So, and we had a lot of modules. So this was the old tool and the new invention now is the V1S Pro. So, and the V1S Pro, we just unpack that now, looks like that. What's pretty nice is the JCID CEO um, just gave his signature um, on the tool and the tool itself, this is something I already added, the tool itself, it looks like that. So, we have a cover foil on it and the housing is not metal, it's um, plastic housing, but that's totally okay. What we can do here um, is just adding the modules which we can use for the V1S and V1SE and V1 2. So here we can just add them and then use them with the V1S Pro. So, but what we can do too is just take off this adapter and just use the adapters like the P7 Pro and all um, and all the old modules which we used with the Pro 1000S we can use with the V1S Pro 2. Okay, so don't throw away your old modules. You can use it as a NAND programmer, you can use it as a face ID tool, you can use it for copy battery data like ever. This is something the V1S Pro is able to do. What we have within the package is a, a VIP card for using with uh, the JC drawing software. It's some it's a board view file program and you have it uh, you can download it on the JC website and with that card you can um, you can use um, you can use um, for six months free access for the JC Draw software. So that's something which you get on top to the V1S Pro. The next thing we have in here is just a um, cable where you can connect the iPhone to your V1S Pro and here a charging cable. So we start by the device comes without a battery. So if you then just plug in the charging cable and just want to use the JC V1S Pro without a battery, you will register that it's not possible because you can't use the touch screen. You just need a battery. In this case, you need a battery out of an iPhone um, 11. So this is an iPhone 11 battery. You just uh, assemble it and connect it to um, the battery FPC and then you can close the housing again. So that's made pretty fine. You just close it again and um, reassemble the screw. And after that you have a battery in it and then you can just use the charging cable to charge the battery and you can use 
the two. So you can use the tool totally standalone because we have a Wi-Fi function on it. That's pretty nice. That's, here is a USB-C cable. So we boot up the device. It has a nice and um, a nice big touch screen. And um, the first thing what you have to do is just to um, set up the language and uh, setting up the language file because it comes in Chinese is, is really easy. I just get it back to Chinese. So in this way you get it, you click here on the icon, you click here on language and then on English and you are done. The next thing you do, you connect to Wi-Fi and after you are connected to Wi-Fi, the system will say you need to do an update, you confirm that and the update runs on the, on the system and after that you can use it. So now on the screen you see a lot of nice functions and this is something which is not good and in my opinion at moment it's not the revolution of the repair industry for a tool because most of them functions which JC announced before are not working. They're just not working. So for me um, a really really important thing was to unbind camera on iPhone 12 series and up. So just connect the iPhone 12 with the cable yeah, and then just unbind camera but this doesn't work. Like all the new features you will see app upgrading soon in weeks. So and that's pretty a problem and I think that JC will get not the best feedbacks for that. So in my opinion, and we are JC Ambassador and I really like them JC tools, but I have to do an um, a honest review here. And for me, it's like if I, if I order a device like that and we as an ambassador, we don't pay for the device. So that's totally okay. But if you order the device and you pay 350 euro or like ever, and then you get the device and you can't use the functions, that's pretty bad. So I think if these functions all work, like getting the device to purple, doesn't work. Go to recovery, doesn't work. Jailbreak, doesn't work. Identify, doesn't work. So unbind Wi-Fi, a really nice function, just um, purple mode, unbinding Wi-Fi with one tool, very nice, doesn't work. Camera unbind, doesn't work. Cable, doesn't work. So all them features doesn't work at all. Actually, this is a better V1S or a better Pro 1000S because I can use an end programmer like the P7 Pro. But today, tell me the point at which I need to use a P7 Pro module. So normally you don't need to use it because we have purple mode and mostly things which we do are in purple mode. So even if we change an end after it's broken, we get in a new NAND, we go to purple mode and we um, get the sysconfig data into the NAND with purple mode and not with a programmer. So at moment it's just like we have to use this adapter and we can use the tools or the, the boards which we already have for the V1, V1S, V1SE. So we can do things like face ID repairs, they work. Um, we can uh, things do uh, things like um, true tone um, uh, copy. So um, if we just want um, to copy display data with the module, that's not a problem. That's that works. Yeah, here we can start true tone if we have the matching board in it. We can copy the display data. That works fine. Um, this is something I already checked and it really works. But all the other functions are just like app upgrading soon in weeks so we don't know when this update will come so in this case i'm really a little bit sad about all this with the v1s pro because people just wanted to see that and they said yeah we got uh, the best programmer on the market ever we have a re revolution in the repair industry and it would be a little revolution for sure but therefore the device just have has to work completely and so we need to wait for the software updates and in my my honest opinion to that is wait until the software updates come and then buy the programmer because if you buy it now and you don't have software updates what's then so and i say that as a jc ambassador and i love jc i don't want anything bad to them 
but I have to do a harness review for you. And if I tell you now, yes, get this, you need this, yeah, and you buy it, and then you see, oh, most of the functions just don't work because the software isn't, uh, the software can't do all this. Then you say, Dr. Ben told us, buy this device, and then I'm the bad guy. And that's something I don't want to be. I just want to give you an honest review. So it's a nice tool. We have a nice haptic. We have a big touch screen. Usability is great. User experience is great. The design is nice. So it, it looks really like they, they really worked on a nice design and it feels good and everything is fine. But it's not ready for the market, in my opinion. So we just need to wait. And after we got the new functions for this device, I will do a review again and show you all the functions. They um, will be added by Jason. I'm out. Have a lot of fun with that. Yours, Dr. Ben.